Back to the breaking news from the top of the show that we told you about. Police say they're investigating two sexual assaults within 24 hours of each other. The latest case happening just before 3 o'clock this morning. Police telling us it happened in the 1200 block of Sugar Creek Road. But just a day earlier, police say this man, you see on your screen, he assaulted a woman, they say, in a parking lot on Nations Crossing, uh, Nations Crossing Road. In that case, police say they saw the suspect assaulting her and arrested him immediately. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabad, he's following the very latest developments in both cases. He joins us now from Nations Crossing Road with the new information that he's learned. Well, this is not an isolated area where the attack happened. Just feet from me, there's a gas station, a restaurant, and down the road, I-77. A business owner tells me police frequently patrol the area, and in this case, they made an arrest. Good going out, Jess. Just feet from this boutique, owner Wanda Wright says she sees people selling all the wrong things. We have a big problem with um, drug dealers and prostitutes around here. And yesterday morning, officers saw a major crime for themselves. Joshua Ward was arrested after police say he pointed a gun at a 25-year-old woman, kidnapped her, and sexually assaulted her. The very next day, another woman sexually assaulted in a different part of town. Just before 3 this morning, police say the victim was targeted on West Sugar Creek Road after getting a ride home from a man she didn't know. Once inside her home, he forced himself on her, stole her phone, and took off. He's described as a heavy-set black male with a muscular build and a bald head, last seen wearing a red shirt and black pants. Back in the area where Wright works. Because I have called 911 quite a few times. And we saw why after checking police crime mapping. We found 77 crimes within a half mile of her business just in the past month. That includes 11 violent crimes like assaults, two of them involving guns. In addition to that, half a dozen armed robberies. I've seen an increase in patrol, yes. And she says it paid off in the latest case. I think it's good um, that there was an officer around and, you know, um, was, able, was there to catch him. That's what we need in this community. The suspect is now facing several serious charges, including first-degree sex offense and kidnapping. He's being held on an $80,000 bond. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.